Hey guys, James here with Zombies Are Cool Painting and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to be having episode 1 of a new series of vlogs which I'm going to be doing. Uh, now, I, I've done these sort of things in the past but generally they don't seem to work out because I sort of go back, I look at them and they're generally pretty unprofessional as in, you know, it's me kind of babbling on for about 10 minutes about something that's not particularly interesting. So I'm sure you're thinking, how am I going to make it work this time? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and change it up a bit, and I'm going to try and limit these in a few different ways. First of all, I'm going to try and limit them to seven minutes. I'm not ever going to go over that duration of time. And the second thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be including sort of uh, very uh, quick and concise segments, if you will, to the series. So I'm not just going to sort of grab the camera and randomly talk for seven minutes. I'm actually going to split it up so I've got like a segment which is going to teach you how to do something. Uh, maybe it'll be called... Uh, quick painting tip or something like that and I'll do a segment on showing you what I've been painting recently, showing off some pictures of painted models etc and this way it's going to sort of enable me to keep things moving really quickly, keep things interesting and hopefully also it'll mean I'll be able to produce a lot of these. The problem with making videos is of course they're very time consuming, uh, any of my tutorials potentially take over 20 hours to do and uh, it's just it makes it really hard to put out regular content so I'm hoping uh, that this new format will mean I can quickly get out plenty of videos and uh, still keep things interesting for you guys and interesting for me as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into things. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, launch in and show you how to make these bases. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a bunch of random bits which you've scavenged from electronics devices, things like old cameras, uh, old mice, old computer bits, anything like that works really well. Just make sure you're not disassembling anything that could be dangerous, uh, like a microwave or something which stores power. Uh, you're also going to need either some cork or some putty, and this is going to be used to build up your base. Uh, now, if you've got a funky base with a weird angle like this one, you're going to need to use putty. If you've got a more basic flat design, like what I'm going to be showing off today, uh, then you can just use cork. You're also going to need some different types of glue. You're going to need super glue and PVA glue, and you're also going to need some sand. Uh, you can also supplement any of this with bits of wire mesh, any bits of styrene, plastic art, anything you can find, which is going to produce a nice effect. So what we need to do is we need to launch into building up our base. We'll just grab a bit of cork, just like that, which fits on the base nicely. And I think I'll also jab a bit of uh, bit of our wire mesh in there as well. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, liberally apply our super glue to there and chuck it down like that. Perfect. And stick down a bit more on that wire mesh, just like that. Okay, that's our basis for it. Then what we'll do is we'll grab just a random bit of uh, plastic. This looks good. We'll again apply super glue on there, chuck that down just like that. Make sure it's uh, firmly adhered to there, and that's perfect. All right, so what we've got is we've got this down pat, and now we're going to grab our PVA glue here, and we're going to grab our sand, and we are going to um, start actually... Uh, gluing some stuff down uh, to that to make our dirt effect. And what we'll do is we'll do this on a different base, uh, like this one here, just because the glue has already set up on it and I don't have to worry about um, stuff not being dry. So essentially what you do is you just jam your uh, PVA glue in there and then you just find something that you can uh, use to push it around, uh, like a toothpick or a paper clip like I've got here. You just push it around into all the recesses, just like that jam it in there really nicely, uh, very easy, very quick. Then what you need to do is you just need to clean off the edges with your finger. You can do this before or after you've added sand, it doesn't really matter. Then what you do is you grab, you start off with your biggest pieces, so I'm going to grab a few rocks and just chuck them in there, just like that. All right, that's perfect. Then what you need to do is go over with your finer sand. And uh, for this you can use, again, uh, just any old sand, you can even use flock. Here I'm using some sand I picked up from the beach. I'm just scattering that in there, just like that. And there you have it. All you need to do, clean up the rim of your base, finish it off, and you will have a really cool looking effect. Um, you can make all sorts of different designs. It looks very organic, very natural, and it's really cheap to make as well. You don't have to buy expensive materials, uh, and it looks very cool. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead, add this effect to your bases. It's really cool, it's really easy, and it looks really nice.
All right, so uh, here's a project I've been working on recently, and essentially it was a uh, unit of Space Marines. Uh, now these were painted up, obviously, in Ultramarine color schemes. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to do, really, because I haven't painted Ultramarines in quite a while, and uh, I got to try out a few new techniques in painting them up. As you can see, uh, I was given an executioner as well as the uh, basic assault squad uh, to paint up. The client's happy. In fact, he was so happy that he's got me to paint up another unit for him. Uh, so that's the main thing. And uh, it was still interesting to do. And I look forward to hopefully uh, painting some more of these uh, guys up in the future and potentially showcasing them in future videos. Alrighty guys, so uh, here's the bench, essentially. Uh, it's incredibly messy just because I've been having so much work going on. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that uh, I'm a really a very tidy person and normally uh, this entire desk, including the uh, one that's behind me, would be completely uh, clear of uh, mess, but unfortunately they're not. I've got stuff on the floor just because I've got so many commissions going on at the moment. It's ridiculous. I'm totally overworked, uh, which is another one of the reasons I haven't got too much content out recently. But anyway, let's jump into things. Uh, what we've got down here in the corner is uh, Forge World Fulgrim. Uh, as you can see, here's our little bit of uh, paper slash packaging. And uh, this guy is really big chunky piece of resin with a really cool display base. Um, you can see just some phenomenal sort of detail on that. A uh, really cool model, going to be a very long-term project because it's going to be display quality. Uh, very cool. So I'm working on assembling that. Um, as you can probably see, everything's really about assembly, unfortunately, at the moment. I don't have much painted stuff going on, but uh, oh well. I've also got beckoners uh, from Malifaux. Uh, so you can see these here. These are plastic, and I'm just working on assembling them, uh, but they're pretty much... Uh, pretty much done and I've got this uh, funky little uh, pirate captain sort of thing um, going on which again very cool model from uh, weird we've also got a bunch of the uh, chaos cultists I'm gonna be doing up a unit of them that's just something I wanted to do for fun and we've got this funny little uh, dog sort of thing here from uh, uh, Mantic Games and uh, fu very funny little miniature. I've got him, I've sort of, I've changed his posture a little bit and I'm going to be trying to convert it so it looks like he's uh, floating from a balloon or something, like some sort of crazy attack dog. Uh, next project, nothing interesting going on here. It's just a unit of, uh, of Space Marines from the Command Squad plus uh, Master of the Chapter in uh, Finecast. Absolutely hate Finecast. I just had a dreadful, I did a commission of this guy before and uh, I painted up one of the new executioners in Finecast, and it was just horrendous. So many bubbles, uh, just totally, uh, I couldn't fix it at all, and it just didn't look very good. Um, we've got a Corporation Flamer, which is going to be for a tutorial coming up soon. That's assembled, and then quickly, final project, uh, which is going on at the moment. You can see all these bases and all of these models here, uh, bar these two, which are Reaper models that I'll be painting up as well, but that's not for this. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of Jokers for the Eden line, and... Uh, they're very cool models, and uh, they're going to be a lot of fun to do, but I'm just kind of rushed because I've got so much going on, and these bases are all for that line of miniatures. Uh, the base so as you can see, we've got a uh, ridiculous amount of stuff to be working on here, but uh, basically that'll just mean that uh, we've got plenty of nice-looking miniatures coming out fairly soon, so I uh, look forward to that. Alright guys, and uh, that's me done, alright? I hope you've uh, seen some stuff that's interested you. I hope you've maybe learnt something from the uh, quick basing tutorial I did just there. And uh, look, tell me what you think of this series. If you think it's good, that's great. If you don't, feel free to tell me as well. How can I improve it, etc. Also, if you've got questions uh, for future vlogs uh, that you want me to answer, feel free to put them in the comments section because I will address them uh, in a future video. Also, if you've got things that you want to learn how to paint or that you reckon I can cover in around two minutes, again, feel free to put them in the comments section down below. Uh, it'll help me out in future. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in a later video.